Hi, Georgie G. Dean here. So I'm here today to talk a little bit about the Lions Gateway portal that opens on the 26th of July and it remains open till about the 12th of August but the most pinnacle point will be on the 8th of August, the 8th of the 8th. Now there's lots of videos out there, there's lots of blog posts to read out there but I'm bringing through my interpretation of my message from the Unity Consciousness. I've written a blog post that you can read on my website, georgiegdean.com. Um, but firstly, I just want to sort of like condense it a little bit for you. Um, I'm also going to play at the very end of this the message that I channeled um, last week, which has inspired me to create a meditation to share with people on the 8th of the 8th. So I'm doing it like a pre-recorded event and you can find out more about that through the blog post and also I'll place it below in the comments with the video. So what is the importance and the significance of the Lion's Gateway. Well, you probably know that it's um, connected to abundance, but not just abundance of finances, but abundances, um, all blessings, um, health, the divine design of your life, if you like. But for me, they're telling me the importance of totally stepping into your power and owning your true, authentic self. Be who you came here to be. Shakespeare famously quoted, to be or not to be, that is the question. I've also heard um, oh, my one of my favourite authors, who is no longer with us, um, beautiful man, beautiful soul, um, he always took to be <laughs> on a flight. Do you know who I'm talking about? I'm going to do a little competition here. I'm not going to mention his name because I want to know if any of you guys out there listening know who I'm talking about, if you've listened to his meditations or read his books. So I'm bringing in, you may have noticed, a bit of joy because we need a real balance at this time. We need courage, we need joy, we need to be really, really grounded and we need to ground in a different way. Well, if you're resonating with me and you resonate with my work, I invite you to do this grounding technique with me now. If you enjoy the grounding technique, then please remember to like and subscribe to the channel, but also then listen on to the message and decide whether or not if you want to check out the pre-recorded event that I'm doing, it will be an MP3, to really help you anchor the razor light laser light even, the laser light that's going to be coming down and it is really intense and it's already starting, I mean I'm already feeling it, um, today is what, today is the 23rd and I'm already feeling the build up, so I said to my team come on help me, what, what can I do because I can't seem to ground properly, so they've given me this technique which I'm going to share with you now. So just start by breathing into your heart centre and closing your eyes. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take my glasses off and I'm going to breathe into my physical heart, into my heart centre and I'm going to connect with my I Am Presence. And I'm going to connect with the angel within me, which some of you call your higher self. 
and your higher self is and the angel within that is the spark that really ignites your soul to grow okay i sense them as two separate things and I just want you to see now if there's any pain in that area and just send it love and just know that as you connect to your essence, the angel within you, the love, your I am presence, you're going to now allow that love, that light that is you to go down your body down your legs, down your knees, your calves, your ankles, your feet, down through your earth star. And now you're connecting your heart to the heart of Mother Earth. In the inner realms and within these inner realms, not only is Mother Earth's heart and heartbeat, but there's also assistance waiting there for you to help you anchor. Just notice what the assistance is. Who is coming for you? Who are you meeting and joining? in the heart of Mother Earth. And as you do that, feel your feet, feel the vibrations in your feet and feel that going deeper and deeper and deeper, your love, your connection to Mother Earth into her heart. And the words that I've shared with you before, Aya Shaya Nara, Aya Shaya Nara, Ayashaya Nara, accepting the mother, I accept the mother, I accept the mother and feel that, feel that connection into the heart of Mother Earth. Now, taking your attention to your navel and your navel centre has an etheric cord of electrifying blue light that connects you to the womb of Mother Earth. So you're now going to connect your navel centre. Within that navel centre there is a diamond and that is anchoring in and amplifying the electric blue cord of light. And I want you to just sense, see, feel, know that cord going down your body, down through your base, down through your legs, down through your knees, calves, ankles, feet, down deep now. The cord is splitting in two and it goes down. the womb of Mother Earth and you may perceive this womb like a cave but notice the electrifying blue light just gently place yourself in this cave now this womb of electrifying blue light And as you do so, you are merely a dot of light yourself. You are a diamond, a tiny diamond within this womb now. And I just want you to rest in this space. And you can do this again and again. But they're giving me now some light language. Ayinaratis, Ayinaratis, Ayinaratis. And you I rest, and you I rest, and you I rest. 
Yanarata, 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 Yanarata. We are one. We are one. We are one. And feel that connection. And the Lady of the Lake, she is like the embodiment of all of the Divine Feminine Consciousnesses coming together. You just know that you are safe and you are grounded. Now bringing your attention back to your heart centre. Now you have earthed, really earthed and really grounded through your navel and through your heart, you can now connect up. And Archangel Metatron being sent from Creator comes now with a column of golden light to put around you and within you. And this column of golden light opens, awakens, cleanses, clears, aligns and adjusts the spinning of each and every one of your chakras, your energy vortexes. Starting with the stellar gateway, going down. And as this happens, there are a multitude of archangels who come and connect with you. With each chakra, Archangel Zadkael, Archangel Christael, Archangel Muriel, Archangel Jophiel, Archangel Raphael. Archangel Mikael, Archangel Emmanuel, Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Uriel, Archangel Haniel, Archangel Mary, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Sandalphon. Cleansing, clearing, aligning, adjusting your vibration. And now, taking that light down into the heart of Mother Earth through your Earth Star, down to the womb, down into the divine womb of the mother into that diamond aspect of you. And knowing that this light is being sent out into the ley lines and you are anchoring this light that is coming from beyond the beyond, from the cosmic stars. from Sirius and beyond, all coming from unconditional love, unconditional love. And now we're going to anchor down the diamond light, the diamond light. Pure source, pure source energy. Ianarata, 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 Ia narashia naratisi ia ia naratisi a naratisi si ia narasha a So it is, and so it is, and so it is. 
we shall bless, seal and protect this now with some Aramaic. Ichal, Ichal, Ichal. And now the angelic language. Iwa, Iwa, Iwa. And know that the angels of courage will be supporting you throughout this transition. The angels of blessings will be supporting you throughout this transition. You have a golden opportunity, a golden opportunity to really step into you. To be you, to be your beautiful, authentic self, the light that you came here to be. The angels of courage will give you the courage to shine your light. The angels of blessings will hold the space for you, along with Archangel Metatron, all the other Archangels I mentioned. But the important thing is to really dig deep. And uh, what they're saying to me now is like, when a baby attaches into the womb of the mother, that's what we're all being called to do, to attach ourselves into the womb, the divine womb of Mother Earth. So um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm actually going to put the video, um, I'm going to put out a video with a message. So I'm going to keep that separate and I will put the link in for that in here. Um, but you can also go over to my website georgiegdean.com there's a free ebook the seven secrets to self-love if you haven't got that already I invite you to go get that it's going to support you through this time and also read the blog post on there it's under Lionsgate um, and I've really enjoyed um, sharing this with you please remember to like share subscribe lots of love the angel in me honors the angel in you and so it is and so it is and so it is